Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so, um, again, it's Adrian. I hope you're doing well today. And um, I'm back with a couple of palettes that I didn't feel that I got really to play with um, the most because it was such a busy season and I was so busy. And so I decided to go back and do some looks with some palettes that I've only got to do one or two looks with and so that's what I'm back with today and um, as far as what I started off with I have the uh, Salt New York uh, this their sneaky balm and yes that is a tongue twister to say and um, I have the N13 shade which is the lightest shade right now and so that's what I have on as my base today I did go ahead and I found my pretty fresh concealer, which was hiding at the bottom of my bag. So I feel uh, everything's right with the universe of, you know, I have my pretty fresh concealer, which I do. So that worked out really well. As far as what I went ahead and used for uh, the cheeks today, I did go ahead and use the Flower Beauty Sunrise Bronzer. So that's what I have on there. And then... Let's see. Ah, oh, that's where it went. Um, I do have the face-off blush on there as well. And I did go ahead and mix it with the Physician's Formula. And this is the Mavi Maths palette. And this one is the, uh, the face-off is Who Is She? And the Physician's Formula is the Mavi Maths. So that's what I have on the cheeks. As far as a highlighter that I did, I went ahead and used the uh, Supreme Rose Beam. This is from Catrice, and so that's what I have on as far as uh, my highlighter today. I did go ahead and use the Physician's Formula Better Glow, and I went ahead and used the Better Glow Natural, which is this one, over the cheeks. And then as far as my finishing powder, I use the Better Glow Translucent, and that's this one as the finishing powder all over the cheeks. And uh, as far as going ahead and doing the eye look, I went ahead and used the NYX uh, Thick It Stick It and Light Ash or Cool Ash Brown and the Superhero by It's Cosmetics. And the palette that I wanted to go ahead and play with is uh, the Troublemaker. And this one's by Colourpop. It came out uh, right in the middle of, middle of the holiday season. And I mean, just look at this. I mean, you, Rocky Horror Picture Show. And then, uh, you look in here and it's sort of Hitchcock everywhere. Um, so anyway, I just, the packaging is great on this. And um, what I wanted to do was see how smoky I could get it to go. And so I went ahead and started off with this uh, duochrome here as my base. And then I went ahead and used uh, this one in the outer corner. I used this one under the eye as my eyeliner. And um, let's see, this one on the inner corner, this one right under the brow. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I put some of this um, right in the middle of the lid just to go ahead and give it a little bit of a pop. This is another duo chrome. And um, yeah, there are a couple of them in here. Uh, both of these are definitely duo chromes. They'll change for you. And um, Let's see what else I did. Um, I think that was about it as far as what I did for this look. But again, I tried to take it, you know, as deep as I could. Um, I did go ahead and use the gel eyeliner by ColourPop. And I put this on the lower waterline as um, to go ahead and deepen it up. This is how the look came out. So again, you know, but I think it's fun. It's definitely a fun grunge. Okay, whatever that means. But I think, yeah, that it is. And the um, it's complicated. Went ahead and used this with uh, the So Glassy by ColourPop, the Epiphany shade. So 
yeah, that's what I have on there. And I think the look turned out pretty fun and um, pretty, you know, smoky and grungy and, yeah, a little bit different than what I usually do. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you. And again, I think you can play with this palette in all sorts of ways. You don't have to go deep and dark. I've done um, a couple of looks where I used this duochrome that goes uh, peach into pink. And this one, if you want to do a really light look, you can do that. Um, you can also go ahead and blend your grays. You have a nice dark gray and a nice light gray to go ahead and just do a gray look with it. And, um, yeah, you can even go rosy with it if you want to. You've definitely got a rosy base right here. So um, I think it's a really fun palette for for uh, cool lovers and um, definitely something that you can definitely use into the springtime. So, um, yeah, that's about all that I have. Just really enjoying this palette, and I'll see you all later. Bye.